Now, there has been a leak, a reported yeah. leak that Messi has picked their award. What is up with the Ballon d'Or? I don't even it want... shouldn't be leaking. Well, we're nice. already in because that. This is not the first time. This is like the third the... year in a row or so. Yeah. Maybe even the fourth year. No, no, that, no. We, that we know, like two weeks ahead, that we know the... I'm not even time. worried about... I'm not worried about the leak or whoever wins. It's just how it has lost that um, credibility mm. and um, recognition where you expect people to trust that these people should do the right thing. Yeah. They should go with um, every statistic that they see across the season. Mm. But unfortunately, you always see controversial issues come out every time. I think they just love the fact that you always have you you should have something to say. Not that oh someone should win as well well deserved. They always want that that controversy should be there. Mm. Keep talking about it. Maybe that's what sells because mm. it's also part of the content too. Because mm. but. Football lovers who don't want, want to stay aside from the controversy are not happy with this. Who's Let the deserved person win this. If you look at the Alan season, he won the um, Premier League, he won the um, the FA Cup and the Champions League. Mm. This guy has been very phenomenal for Manchester, breaking records in the Premier League too. His debut season, I think he should, he should win. win. I, want, oh, I want to counter that. You know why? You, mm. You're always having discussion of bias towards attacking players. Definitely. Because the same Definitely. job, the same job Alan did. Yeah, he scored the goals. Yeah. yeah. But what about the likes of Ederson that kept the clean sheet? Likes or of Rodri. Ruben Diaz, Rodri, or John the, mid, the midfield general. You know. We're not having that discussion today. <laughs> that's yes, that's we're not. Like, would, like you said, have that's lost yeah. day for it. Like she said, that's lost the credibility. Yeah. I feel um, like, I feel like it's like a popularity contest now. I feel like there's a big bias towards attacking players. They are not the only ones who play football. They are goalkeepers, they're defenders, they're midfielders. Sure. Exactly. I was telling someone, I said, look at someone like Sergio Ramos. Do you mm -hmm. know how important he was to Madrid winning Champions League title? But no, you, you forgot the equalizer he scored. But you think about Cristiano Ronaldo. I think the only who's defender yeah, to have won it was um, Cannavaro. Yes, Fabio Cannavaro is the only Cannavaro, defender yeah. to have won it. So for me, man, I would go... And that was, that was also based on something. Mm. Because World you know what they said about the, the Zidane Exactly, the Zidane and issue and all, and all of that. So if Zidane had won that World Cup, if he didn't pick that red card, he yeah. probably would have Zidane been Zidane. Easily. You know, I don't yeah. think they really defend us these days. But maybe, let's see maybe how um, Ronaldo and uh, Messi, when they leave football, when they retire, maybe we'll see something different. That's a whole, that's a whole, it's a whole another topic because yes, when I'm, they leave. I'm beginning to fear for football now. <laughs> Who is going to be there for 10, 15 years? Oh, we have, a, we have a lot of robots playing football they right now. Yeah, you're All right. Please. They will come. Thank you very much, Terry. See you. Thank you, Mike. Thank as you always. Coming. Yeah. So uh, your your score is Arsenal win. What's the score line? I do not know, but uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I'll go with three one. Three one. Two one Chelsea. Two one Chelsea. All right.